Andrew McFarlane here from StarterJuiceBar.com, your trusted resource for all things juice bar oriented. Today uh, I'm going to do a quick video by request on how to cost out your menu. Now this is, it's so important. Um, I know some, some of us, and I've seen it too often uh, because they're, when we get into food, we can, uh, the tendency is a lot of times people who get into food, they're very creative people. They, they really love nurturing people. And then when it comes to these more technical aspects of running a business, they, they don't know how to do it, so they avoid it. Um, and they don't know how important it is. And I, I can't emphasize enough that you cannot overlook this. You must cost out your menu. Ideally, before you even start your business, ideally before you even, as part of creating, creating your business plan, you actually do this. Um, but if, you, if you've already started your business and you haven't done this, you have to do it. You have to do it today. Uh, so, um, how do you do this? How do you cost out your menu? Uh, you, it's not complex. Just take some time. You find out the metric that you're purchasing in, and you need to convert it into the metric that you're serving it in. So, for example, when you purchase apples, you're always going to purchase nine times out of ten, um, unless you get into some leafy greens. Some leafy greens are sold by the bunch but your other produce, your apples, your cucumbers, your oranges, they're sold by the pound. So you're going to buy, for example, 40 pounds of apples, which is a, a pretty standard wholesale apple uh, weight to be, to be sold portion. Um, and you're going to take that 40 pounds of apples and you find out, let's say, for example, it costs us $40. Um, that means each pound costs us a dollar. Then you're going to find out, okay, well, when I juice that pound of apples, how much apple juice do I get? For the simplicity of the math sake, let's say, for example, you juice that pound of apples, which cost you $1, and you get 10 ounces of apple juice. That means each ounce of apple juice costs you 10 cents. Now, how many ounces of apple juice go in your drink? Some recipes are going to have 5 ounces, which means it costs you 50 cents. Some are going to have 8.5 ounces, which means it costs you 85 cents. Um, and, and you just do the math that way for every single ingredient. And the same will go for your, your dry ingredients. You have a recipe with almonds in it. You buy the almonds by weight. Um, the almonds are then going to, you're going to use maybe, let's say, a half a cup of almonds in a smoothie. Uh, you have to weigh that half cup of almonds out because then that will tell you how much you get in your smoothie. It, it's not complicated, um, and I hope this is clear. Uh, you have to have a scale, obviously, when you're weighing the dry ingredients out and, and know that certain things are going to fluctuate. So throughout the year, your apples are not going to always cost you $40. They're going to go up. They're going to go down. Um, and $40 is a hypothetical number. Uh, it depends on if they're in season or out of season. Um, your dry ingredients, your almonds, they're going to fluctuate. So I really recommend having a dynamic spreadsheet that you can input certain numbers and some people are even more savvy than myself I'm not very Excel savvy so so find someone to do that for you or maybe you're the person um, oftentimes for me I've just done it manually but if you if you really want to have this function efficiently you have an Excel Excel spreadsheet and you just put in the cost of apples that, for that that particular invoice and then that on the other side you'll know that the conversion is reasonably always the same you're always going to get about 10 ounces of apple juice from that pound of apples. And that's also a hypothetical number. That's not, that's not an exact number. You're gonna to have to juice it because it's gonna depend also on the type of equipment you have. Are you using a press? Are you using a centrifugal juicer? What kind of press are you using? They're gonna have different yields. So you need to do it specifically on the equipment that you're going to use for your business. Um, yes, hope all that was clear. Uh, and as I've said in the past, if it wasn't clear or you have any other questions, I offer free short consults to people um, you just go to starterjuicebar.com. You can put in your information there, uh, or you can call me directly, and uh, and and then I'll be happy to do my best to, to support you in anything that I can. Um, and uh, if you have other requests for other videos, please also let me know. Uh, when I have time, I, I love to, to 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 support you guys in this way. Uh, thanks again, Andrew McFarland, starterjuicebar.com. Um, signing out.